Hello and welcome to my YouTube video. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to graft stockinette stitch on a piece of fabric that's worked from the bottom up. In other words, we're going to take out a row here and then we're going to graft these two pieces back together. So we have the cast on here and the bind off here. So it's a unidirectional fabric. The fabric's moving in this direction. So we're going to start by taking out this center row. So I'm just going to cut one leg of the center row, a stitch, and then I'm going to remove this yarn from the center in both directions. Now I've blocked this fabric, so these stitch stitches are going to pretty much stay just the way they are, but if you feel insecure about them holding their shape, you could put them on a piece of waste yarn or a spare needle as you pull these yarns out. So I won't, um, we'll move forward here and I'll pull these out and come back. I now have the two pieces separated. I took out that center row. The first thing that we're going to notice is that on the lower swatch, we have 15 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. On the upper swatch, we only have 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And that's because this leg right here, this end stitch, lost its anchor. So we're losing half a stitch here and the last leg over here also lost its anchor. It would have been anchored in the stitches of the row that we removed. So that's where you lose a half stitch on each end. So this, your top fabric will always be one stitch less than the bottom fabric when you're knitting in one direction. The next step is to put these stitches on a double pointed needle so that we can graft them from the needles. So I start out and I'm just going to put them on my knitting needle in the correct stitch mount. I'm working on the lower half and I will call this the front needle because it's going to be in the front when we're grafting. I'm just slipping these stitches back onto a live needle and I'm going to work to the end. All the stitches are on, I'm calling this the front needle. It has the cast on edge. On, on the, the top half, where the bind off is, I'm going to pick that up, turn it around so that the bind off's at the bottom now, and then I'm going to slide these stitches also onto a double pointed needle in the correct stitch mount that is with the front leg forward to the right side. We now have our stitches back on the needles. We're going to refer to the top half of the swatch, this needle, we're going to refer to it as the back needle. And the lower portion, which is the cast on edge, we're going to refer to this needle as the front needle. Now let's look at the swatch again before this is a similar swatch. And let's look at this up close and personal. Let's follow a column of stitches. Here's a column of stitches. This is the stitch that is now on my needle. This stitch is in the row that I removed. And we can see up here that there is no leg here to put on the needle. You're going to end up with a leg here and a leg here. Let's look at this in a drawing. We can see here on the lower needle that the stitch comes along here and this is where we're putting our knitting needle is through these stitches. This is the front needle. We can see this column of knits goes across where the potential graft area and up here, these are the knits. We can see the right leg of this stitch is connected to this loop and the left leg is connected to this loop. This is not a stitch. 
it's the bar between the stitches. As one stitch moves to the next, this is the bar. If you were looking at the wrong side of the fabric, this would be the smile on the wrong side of the fabric compared to the frown over here. Let's take a look at that. On this side of the fabric, what we see as smiles is where the yarn travels. This is the knit, and this is the strand between this knit and this knit. That's called the bar, and it goes up here. Those are now going to become the loops that you're going to be putting on your needle. These loops right here on the top needle. And we can see that between every two loops there is a stitch, column of stitches between the two loops. If we look at the bottom needle, the front needle, we can see that there is a loop in the middle of each column of knits. Here's a column of knits and it terminates with a live stitch on the needle. On the back needle, we don't have a loop that's associated with the stitch. We have, this is the right leg, and this is the left leg. So when we're grafting, we're going to actually be pulling these two legs together to make a stitch. If we turn the work over on the back needle, let's look at it with the bind off at the top, we can see the smiles those are the strands between the stitches. This is going to be a smile. The stitch itself looks like a frown. And we don't have any frowns down here, we just have the smile. This is important. Not necessarily for grafting stockinette stitch, but in the next video I'm going to teach you how to graft knit one purl one ribbing, and this is very important. So let's move forward with grafting stockinette stitch. I've threaded some of the off-white yarn onto a tapestry needle and we're going to start we're going to start grafting. So what we have here is 15 stitches on the front needle, 14 on the back needle. That tells me that I need to start on the front needle and end on the front needle and then it will work out perfectly in between. So when we're grafting, there is a mantra that you say, on the front needle, you knit off, purl on. On the back needle, you purl off, knit on. That's the whole mantra. But we're going to start with half. We're going to start up with a setup. The setup is the second half of the mantra. On the front, it would be knit off, purl on. So we're going to do the second half. We're going to purl on. This is the setup. You only do this at the beginning one time. And we'll also have a finishing to do at the end. So we purled on, then we take this to the back needle. We're going to hold these stitches like this. I'm going to pull all these strands in between. So you can see the back needle. And that is a smile, an upside down smile. It looks like a frown. We're going to, on the back needle, the mantra for a stockinette would be purl off, knit on. So we're doing the setup, which is the second half of the mantra, so we knit on. Keep this underneath the tips. You don't want to go over the tips. Now we're going to actually start the grafting. That was just the setup. We're going to start on the front needle. We're going to knit off. That means go through this stitch as if to knit with the tapestry needle. Turn and go through the next stitch on the front needle as if to purl and leave it on. Pull the yarn through. Now it takes practice to get the right tension on this. You'll find that in the beginning that your stitches are not a good size. It just does take practice. Then the back needle, the mantra is purl off knit on. Front needle, knit off, purl on. 
back needle, purl off, knit on. Now, I've stopped in the middle of my process. How do I remember where I was? We're going to put all these pieces inside here. I'm ready to start back up again. Where did I leave off? How do I know? I'm looking at where the yarn came from. It's coming from the back needle. So I know the last thing I did was I did the back needle mantra, which was purl off, knit on. So that's a knit on. So that means I need to come to the front. I'm going to do a knit off, purl on, back needle, purl off, knit on. And I'm going to continue this to the end and then I'll show you what to do at the end. Okay, I've got most of the stitches worked. I have three stitches remaining on each needle. And we can see we have various sizes of stitches here and I'll show you how to correct those once we finish this. So we're going to work these last three stitches. I finished on the front needle. I have a uh, purl on so we know we need to go to the back needle, purl off, knit on, front needle, knit off, purl on, back needle, purl off, knit on, front needle, knit off, purl on. Now we have one loop left on each needle. For this finish, we do the first half of the mantra. We start on the back needle. We're going to purl off. And the front needle, we're going to knit off the first half of the mantra. And we remove our needles. I'm going to see what we have here. So here's our little swatch. We do have some unevenness in the size of the stitches. First I'm just going to do a little bit of stretching that really helps a lot. We see we have some big ones over here. So I'm just going to move some yarn from these stitches to the end. I'm adjusting the size. till I get them where I want them. Let's look at the other end. This end looks pretty good. Now, remember we had that half stitch up here on this row and a half stitch up here. What can we do with those? We can fix those now. We're going to take that piece of yellow yarn that was up here we're going to put it on a tapestry needle. And we now have this stitch, which was the first grafting stitch that we can anchor it to. So we're going to go through the top from front to back. Now we have a full stitch there on the edge. Just the tension here. By the way, I used the yellow just to show the row above and row below so that we can actually see the grafting row. Over here on this side we also have a half leg. We just have the right leg of this stitch and we have full selvage stitches so we want to connect the left leg. We're going to put that on our tapestry needle as well. And we're going to look at the grafting stitch, the last grafting stitch which is right here. We're going to go from front to back. And now we are completing that left leg of the stitch above the graft. And we can tighten all of our stitches up here. And that looks good. 
So now we've put in our grafting row. So we started out with a swatch that looked like this. And we took out that center row and put in the grafting row. If you enjoy my videos, be sure to give me a thumbs up down there. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And there's going to be a link right up in this corner and at, um, on the end of this video for Knit 2, Purl 2 once I get that completed. Happy knitting!